We turn now to a potentially major medical breakthrough, the FDA approving the first new treatment for Alzheimer's in almost 20 years. It's a monthly injection intended to slow cognitive decline in patients with early stages of the disease. And it's the first drug to treat Alzheimer's, not just the symptoms. But critics say there's not enough evidence the drug works. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, the first new drug approved for Alzheimer's in 18 years. The drug made by Biogen called Aducanumab, brand name Aduhelm, is a monthly injection. This drug was given conditional approval by the FDA for patients with early stage Alzheimer's, so mild cognitive impairment, not a treatment, but hopefully will slow the progression of the disease. And it's the first to attack how the disease works, not just the symptoms, targeting a protein that's a biomarker for Alzheimer's. Jerry Taylor was involved in phase one of the trials. The effect on the drug, I believe, that it was helping me, and I'm very happy for the getting it back. And while advocacy groups pushed for the drug's approval, the FDA Advisory Committee and several prominent experts have doubts about whether the drug is effective, saying that even if it can slow the cognitive decline in some patients, it doesn't outweigh the risks of taking the drug, side effects that include brain swelling and bleeding. But the FDA approved it on the condition that Biogen conduct a new clinical trial while the drug is in use. The FDA could still rescind their approval if this new clinical trial fails. The FDA says they have weighed the risks and decided this was the right course of action. For the some 6 million people here in the U.S. dealing with the disease, some hope tonight. Kenneth. Stephanie Ramos there. Thank you for that report. For more now, we bring in ABC News medical contributor, Dr. Darian Sutton. Dr. Sutton, great to see you, friend. And we'll get to the concerns in a minute, but let's talk about the drug's promise as the first to treat the disease and not just the symptoms. What does that mean for those suffering from Alzheimer's? Well, Kenneth, good to see you too. To be honest, it's quite simple, hope. Uh, Over 6 million people are affected by this disease within the United States. And unfortunately, there has been little treatments available. So many families are desperate in the need of a treatment. And unfortunately, that also does not allow many to see the possible concerns behind any possible benefit versus the risk of this uh, new medication. And as we heard, the drug was approved through an accelerator process. Tonight, there is a fierce debate over whether it works. Some critics say the risk may outweigh the benefits. Is there anything you've seen that should make Alzheimer's patients and their families concerned here? And so this is what provides an important moment to pause and have a discussion between patients and providers. From what we know, the FDA has approved this process, but that comes in opposition from the Independent Advisory Committee. And normally these two groups historically agree before an approval happens. And the reason why that disagreement occurred is because these study trials, some of which have not shown clear benefit in this medication. And unfortunately, it doesn't come with its setbacks. Uh, Notably, the medication is quite expensive as the drug makers have established that it will likely cost about $56,000 per year. And there's also, there's some risks. Um, we've seen patients in these trials have a very little things such as headaches, as much as brain swelling and bleeding. And so all of these things need to be taken into account when patients are trying to make a decision on whether or not they want to take this medication. Mm, those patients and their families go through so much there. Uh, before you go, Dr. Sutton, let's talk about another potential breakthrough. The FDA today approving the drug semaglutide to treat obesity. In clinical trials, more than half the subjects lost nearly 15% of their body weight. Could this drug be a game changer for seriously overweight people? Yes, there are many within the world of obesity medicine. My colleagues are telling me that this seems to be very much a game changer. Uh, Currently, there are a few medications available for the treatment of obesity, and most of them provide a benefit of approximately 5 to 10% of weight loss. So that 15% that you quoted is quite substantial in our world. Um, But of course, we still have some setbacks with this medication, as unfortunately, obesity is most often not covered immediately by most insurance providers. And so many patients might be left trying to figure out how to pay for this drug. And so we'll still wait to see um, because the price has not been fully determined. All right, Dr. Sutton, with the information we need to know there, doctor, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.